And in the U.S., thousands of people have taken to the streets of Chicago to express their resentment against the country's gun policy. The demonstrators shut down a major freeway in the city and disrupted traffic. They called for an end to gun violence, which killed more than 600 people in the city last year. Protesters also demanded tougher gun control laws and the expansion of background checks to cover all gun purchases and a ban on the sale of assault rifles. Numerous deadly shooting incidents across the U.S. have revitalized anti-gun movements that protest the laxity of gun existing gun laws in the country. Now let's hear what political commentator Jody Garage told Press TV about the power of the gun lobby in the U.S. The whole issue of guns uh, largely has to do with money. It, uh, it has to do with the gun lobbies. It has to do with their control of the National Rifle Association. Um, yes, there are hunters, and yes, there are people who own guns for um, what they consider to be legitimate reasons, protection, etc. But it's also important to realize that gun ownership increases the rate of suicide, it increases the rate of violence within families. Uh, there is nothing about an AK-47 or 15 that has to do with hunting. Those uh, are, they're designed to kill people. Uh, and it's really heartening to see large quantities of people really coming to grips with this issue because with so many, as with so many other things in this administration, subtlety is not going to get us anywhere.